Hello, everyone. This is Ted Check, Public Relations Manager for the International Foundation for Protection Officers. I'm here with Dr. Glenn Kitteringham. Uh, he is of Kitteringham Security Group in Canada. Doctor, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. How are you? Great, great. So you've got uh, another webinar coming up. It's uh, you, you've got your monthly series of webinars uh, that you do in conjunction with the IFPO, and you've got one coming up July 21st. Webinar number six, managing stress during the pandemic. So um, some might read that and say, what are you talking about? I thought we were done with the pandemic. Um, so how would you answer that? Because I mean, we knew and we're not really done with it, but uh, you know. Right, well, so, that's exactly it. We, we're not really done with it. We're at the tail end of it. Uh, you know, by all accounts, there may be another wave. We are also seeing that some countries they're in lockdown right now still and um you know there, you know even in those countries with full immunization there are still issues and i i thought it would be timely timely reminder that you know to be honest regardless of whether we're in the pandemic or not we are all living in a very stressful world and even though, you know, the topic of the, you know, managing stress during the global, global pandemic, sure, but it's managing stress in a stressful time, you know. Um, and so that's what I, that's what I want to talk about, you know, on, uh, on the 21st of July with my panelists who have both got their own um, COVID stress reduction programs in places at, at their places of work. And we just want to be able to give tools to, or food for thought at the very least for attendees to consider, you know, in, in nego continuing to negotiate the stress that is generated not only by the pandemic, but, you know, the, the societal changes that are coming about as a result of the pandemic. Right. There, those are, uh, there's, there's, there's uh, residual effects, you know, the kind of the, uh, the ripple effect going on there with that and absolutely you know being a frontline uh frontline worker or a first responder you know there's, there's going to be stress pandemic or not and so yeah i, I think i'm excited about this one i, I think that uh people are going to find it very useful you know because if you if you can't take care of yourself how can you be expected to do your job at the optimum level Right. Yes. And, you know, you know, and as you know, and, and we've talked about and what I've seen in my own research, what I, which I've talked about in a previous webinar, we know a violence and threats of, of violence are escalating or continuing to increase, uh, you know, against security officers and, and well, other what, you know, what we can refer to as rule enforcers or people in positions of authority, whether they're police officers, uh, bus drivers, teachers, it just seems that if 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 you're in a position to tell other people, you know, that they need to be following some rules, that seems to be making them a target for a lot of hostility these days. Yeah. So so uh, I'm very interested to hear what uh, what you and your panelists uh, come up with. You know, I mean, um, I, I think I think people will find it very useful for sure. Yeah, I hope so. Certainly. Um, I mean, my two panelists. Um, Jody Reed with H and R Reed here in Calgary. He he manages a large, uh, you know, large property, one of the largest properties in Canada, with a large security department. Uh, Doug Durant works for the City of Calgary, um, and he's also got a, a large portfolio. and And they both got successful stress, what you would call, I guess, a stress reduction programs in place to help, you know, to help manage those stress levels for their employees and contractors. And, you know, on top of everything else that, you know, you, that a security practitioner has to do, you know, an important component is making sure as, as what you've already said, taking care of yourself so you can take care of others. Right. Right. Yeah. That was uh, offline. We were, we were talking about the, uh, the old uh, uh, thing of, you know, when you're on an airplane and, and the mask comes down, what do they say? Put your your mask on first, and then tend to like if you have children, tend to the children after that, because you're not going to be able to be effective if you don't take care of yourself first. Right. So, yeah. Um, 
I think, you know, frontline security officers, uh, first responders, they're, they're going to find this uh, very interesting. Um, you know, it's the whole thing of, you know, don't don't bring your work home with you. You know, you know, when you're at work, do your utmost, but then leave it there and, you know, fulfill those other things, social interaction, um, you know, athletics, uh, all, a number of things. So, right. um, yeah. Yeah. I, I, well, it's just, it's the self care, right? It's, it's the social, it's the emotional, it's the, right, it's right. the, um, spiritual, it is the physical and, and, you know, we all need, we need to take care of ourselves and, you know, regardless of, you know, again, regardless of whether we're in a pandemic or coming out of a pandemic, these are all the things that people should be considering every day anyway. Because we are, yeah. you know, we are in a very, very connected world now, and it seems like we never unplug. And I actually, uh, I read an article the other day by a psychologist who said that we've created the perfect environment that we never have to be alone with our thoughts if we don't want to. You, and, you know what's crazy? I was just thinking about that today. Like that, some <laughs> people, you or or anyone could potentially. From the moment you get up to the moment you go to sleep, you could have something going on, you know, whether, whether you're watching something, listening to something, whether it's the TV, the Internet, YouTube, whatever. You could have something always in the background all the way through and you could yeah. fall asleep to to whatever you want, to the TV or to to Netflix or whatever. You know what I mean, I, I, I don't know. It just kind of hit me today. I'm like, yeah, you could really do that if you want yeah no, yeah no like we, you know we have this you know it's stimuli right and we are constantly bombarded with it and yeah. you know even taking a cup of coffee <laughs> you know it's most people's drug of choice right um I but how many worse <laughs> yeah but uh, okay legitimate drug of choice right, right. Uh, but how many people just sit out on the deck in the morning and just drink a cup of coffee and listen to the birds sing and think about it and watch the you know watch the leaves bro the blow and the grass grow and i know that sounds corny but that man, sounds great it, to me it's a great <laughs> way to start the day man <laughs> yeah yeah well glenn if uh people want to tune in I'm going to leave the, the the link in the description below. But uh, also, is, is there a uh, is there a website uh, that you can just uh, say where where it is? Where they yeah. Can, so, they can um, so so if they go to to the IFPO website, they can register there, and we'll make sure that they get the <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> we'll make sure that we get the registration link connected with this video. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, they can just go there and register. And then, it, you know, reminder to everybody it's on Wednesday, July 21st that uh, 0800 uh, hours, that's mountain time. Um, I just started using that as a default more than anything, because I know that we get we get attendees logging in from all over the world. And uh, so it's 0800 hours mountain. Oh, you're going with mountain time. Okay, not mountain not time. Not well, eight, time. yeah, 10, 10 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Oh, OK. Gotcha. Right. So um, but yeah, but they'll be able to re register with the link provided. Uh, it's it's uh, registration has been on the IFPO website, oh, okay. so IFPO.org website for almost for probably three weeks now. Oh, OK. All right. Yeah. And I'll I'll, I'll drop it down below in the description um, so that uh, make it easy for folks. Yeah. So they can get on it. Yeah, awesome. For sure. Well, Glenn, I look forward to it, and I'm sure a lot of other people will as well. So uh, thanks so much for coming on tonight and, and talking about it. No, you're welcome. Thank you very much. All right. We'll talk soon. You bet. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.